New video tonight of the shocking discovery inside a New Jersey hospital. Secaucus police officers uncovering a stash of weapons in a closet. Handgun after handgun, shotgun after shotgun, and an assault rifle with a high capacity magazine. And in minutes, the entire length of this table at Hudson Regional Hospital covered with guns and ammunition. It's kind of it's a like, little. It's kind of like Wow. <laughs> yeah, big wow, you know. Police say 46 year old Reuven Alanaliov was storing all these weapons in an unlocked closet at the hospital where he's a marketing director. Reuven, how are you? News 4 approaching him at his Elmwood Park home two weeks ago after he was arrested and charged. Prosecutors say he appeared in court this past Monday. But everybody's talking about. The strange house. You know. His neighbors calling it a mystery, saying he's only lived on the block for about a year. They don't know much about him. He didn't answer the door Wednesday evening. I never met the guy, but I saw his picture on TV. And then I did see uh, him around the property. That's actually crazy. I have. <laughs> it's good that you guys brought it up, like brought it to my attention, because I wasn't aware of this at all. And he's right next to me. This body camera footage from the July 18th discovery, when officers responded to a bomb threat at the hospital, that was deemed a hoax. But this is what they did find, right in a place where people are cared for. What the man was doing with all the weapons, still a big question. This neighbor saying people have been shuffling in and out of the home across the street in the past year. So this now adding to the strange puzzle. Things that make you go, hmm, so they say, and then this happens and you say, yeah, see. I tried multiple times to get a statement from Hudson Regional Hospital and speak with someone about what safety protocols, if any, have changed since this incident. And I was repeatedly told no comment. But a hospital spokesperson had previously told the Hudson reporter that the presence of weapons in a hospital is inexcusable. And this incident has given them an opportunity to review safety protocols. In Sea Caucus, I'm Jessica Cunnington, News 4, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.